Welcome to High Anxiety. It's Brandon here for Turtles. I'm gonna make it Turtles Tuesday next time, okay? Turtles Tuesday. That's what I'll do. I'll start making turtle videos every Tuesday and then try to populate the site with other stuff later on. Anyway, I spent too much money and decided that I wanted to get this figure off eBay. Uh, technically, it's not a scalper, I think. Basically, what happens, there's two figures that were being made and they were being sold from China straight off the bat, like months before they are even hitting the shelves. Um, I waited as long as I wanted to. <laughs> And, um, I ended up caving and I bought one, um, those two figures, one with Mondo Gecko, which I didn't get yet. And I really want Mondo Gecko really bad. Um, but I knew they were going on sale, uh, for, for pre-order, pre-sale. I forget which word they use, but basically they went on sale and, uh, you were able to pre-order them. I found out later they're not shipping till October, so that's a bummer. But anyway, long story short, I got one right now through eBay. I paid a little more than I wanted to. I don't think it was technically scalper prices, if I'm, if I'm really being honest. It wasn't too bad, um, but here we go. This is Muckman, and I haven't really spent too much time looking at this yet, but I'm so excited. Um, I really, I get these things and I really wait until I can record them to open them. Uh, it's it's really difficult to live this way because <laughs> I want just to have my toys. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is the figure. On the back we have some shots. We have Irma reacting to Eyeball Joe. Um, Irma was just announced in the San Diego Comic-Con at home event and she's gonna be in the Channel 6 news pack which also doesn't come out until October which is a bummer but that's not too far away. Anyway it says mutated by Ooze, former garbage men, Gorson, Grunge, and Joe Junkie become the world's smelliest sort of superheroes. Muckman and Joe Eyeball aren't here to clean up the town but they will trash the foot and make a mess out of Manhattan while doing it. Includes trash can, backpack, extra hands, swappable mouths, rockalizer, and barrel of ooze accessories. Um, I always thought it was Eyeball Joe, and this calls it Joe Eyeball, so I'm not sure. I'll have to check and see what the actual name is, but I really thought it was Eyeball Joe. Uh, so that's weird that they call it Joe Eyeball. I've never heard it called... Joe eyeball. So, all right. So here we go. We're gonna open this up. This muck everlasting. A great playoff tuck everlasting. I'm trying to be uh, comedians here. Where is my knife? I'm gonna use a lancer, a retro lancer. We're gonna see if this works. Yes, it does. Thank you, retro lancer. Oops. All right, so we're gonna open up Muckman. I, I haven't even looked at it really yet. Uh, I didn't even open it up. Like I know what he looks like. I'm looking at the back, but I haven't seen the actual figure itself. So I'm excited. Um, and again, I don't save packages, but I do. I am I'm gonna like cut this up a little bit, and uh, I have I have something I'm really working on. But um, the design of these kind of changes it up because it's a different style uh, than what I'm doing. This is all very very vague since you don't know what I'm doing so I'll just shut up now but um yeah all right so I am looking at this it's got the <laughs> the uh tune backdrop which is funny because I have that so it's just funny that they I mean it, it looks like it's literally a picture of the diorama I think it is which is pretty funny so uh, I don't feel bad getting rid of that but all right, um, I feel like I need to actually have scissors because uh, this is annoying. We're right back. All right, I'm here. All right, let's just start cutting these things. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, these are really great scissors, but I'm not getting any cutting, so I'm just gonna 
go in here and just snip away. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. Um, this is pretty cool. So this comes with some slime. So I'm very excited. Oh, I'm bummed that the, the radioactive thing is on the plastic that just comes right off. That's kind of a bummer. Um, but anyway, we got some slime. It's very liquidy slime, which is really cool. Um, I'm used to playing with slime that my kids make and uh, it's usually uh, a little tougher. I don't know, I'm just babbling. Okay, let's, so there's not a whole lot in this set. This is an ultimate figure, but there's not a whole lot, but I think uh, what is here is quality enough that I don't really care that there's not as many accessories as like Krang head or um, uh, metal head, but um, let's just let's just get into it. So this is called the gravel, the rockalyzer, the rockalyzer. So, um, so we've got the rockalyzer here. Let's get some more light on it. The rockalyzer. All right, I like that it's got like kind of like a twisty trombone kind of thing. Uh, it's got an eyesight. It's got like a crosshair eyesight. Um, it's a nice little figure. It's nice to have the new guns because I think Mondo Deco comes like a foot soldier, like ray gun. So it's kind of annoying. We got our trash can. Nice little trash can here. Is this still recording? Why did it turn off on my watch? Come on, bro. Here we go. So we've got a nice little trash can here. Trash can. I like the color on it, gray and blue. They could have just cheaped out and made it all gray. Uh, I wish the handles flapped, but they don't, but that's okay. It's okay, it's just gonna go on his back. Not a whole lot of accessories, like I said. Um, we've got our trigger finger and a kind of a gripping hand. Hopefully this isn't focus. I wanna get like a camera going down like this so I can just have. All right, um, it also has a mouth and it's kind of cool, the shape of it. It reminds me of the shape of, um... man, I, I have a GoPro and stuff, but I don't know if I wanna use that. It's okay, I'll just, I'll just, film it and show it over this. All right, so we've got our hands, we've got, okay, so here's Eyeball Joe or Joe Eyeball. Um, that's cool, come on, why does this keep turning off? This is usually reliable when I get to look and see what my shots look like and it's not doing a great job. So there's Eyeball Joe, I like him. He looks really great, lots of detail. He doesn't move at all, um, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, oh, he does move, I'm crazy. Uh, so his arms, his arms go up and down, they move, that's great. Head moves. I was gonna say, since there's so uh, little in this, it would be cool if they had a move, but they do, that's great. You can pose them around pretty well. Um, the old Playmates version has, I think he was just green or yellow. I think he was just green and he was just a little, um, I don't have him, I wish I did. Um, but it was kind of like these two figures right here where they just, they're just plastic and they, they don't move around. There's there's little paint to it. Uh, I'm gonna end up painting this, I think. Uh, wing nut, screwless, this is screwless. I'm gonna end up painting this, I think. Um, I really, uh, I, did a, I did a cool, uh, I started a new thing where I'm gonna start painting toys and I really don't have a problem painting my old toys, especially if I can find a second one, but um, it is what it is. Anyway, so we're on to the main event now. Here is Muckman. Really? Really? There we go. All right, so he's pretty big. I'm excited about that. I didn't know how big he was, but he's pretty big. Um, just that you get a little glimpse of him right here. He's pretty big. 
pretty big. Um, I love, I love it. He's a little, he's loose, which is good because usually when I get NECA figures, they're very, very tight. Um, I don't feel nervous. Uh, oh, the arms are very tight. Um, I might go soak this real quick. Uh, no, this is very, this is a very limited mobility. Uh, there's not a whole lot of range to that. Uh, so you can't really make it straight. It's kind of like just going to be like that, uh, which is fine. I'm sure it was designed like that for a reason. Uh, so we've got like little ugh, scary hands here. Um, you can see on the back right here is where the little trash can goes in. So I'm going to put the trash can in. Just goes into his back like so that looks great all right so he's got a mirror uh in the original toy and stuff it's it's um a hole in his chest um i don't know what exactly this is i know it's tune accurate um i kind of wish this apple was painted a little better i might do that i don't know how i feel about that being gray feels like they just took the lazy playmates roll with that but um sewer lid's great love the sewer lid uh mini trash can i guess i don't know exactly what that is it looks like a little trash can or like a little metal pipe or something uh we've got a little can kind of looks like a mutagen can but i know it's a little too big but um okay so he's got so that is his foot it's just like a sludge puddle um into the sewer lid so that's like not like a like he's just stuck to it. Like that's his actual shoe, which is kind of cool. Um, he's got a spray can right here. Uh, I don't know, it looks kind of, for me, it looks like a tear gas thing. I like the rippage of the shirt. Uh, it's an open shirt. I like that. I like the detail on that. Um, it's cool that I, I feel like I could take that off uh, if I really wanted to. Um, all right, so there's that. Let's put in Eyeball Joe, or Joe Eyeball, as Neca calls it, or maybe it's actually called that, and I'm just making a fool of myself. Um, it's got little hook things, so I wonder if I can, yeah, I can strategically make him holding on to that. Uh, so there's there there's that. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a good looking figure. I like it. I like the cloudy, like the, the bulging around his eyes. He's got his clothespin nose, uh, the banana peel on top. Um, the banana peel is, uh, makes me happy because it's on all the versions that I've seen, but on the old Playmates one, you pulled this off. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, let's, let's change a smile to a, to a, like a, a frown, a frowny frown. Come on, I don't know how to take it out. It should be pretty simple, but I can't get it. Maybe I'm not gonna take it out. If I could just chip the paint a little bit too. Come on, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come on, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, this is not wanting to come out, man. Slowly but surely coming out. I'm gonna have to be happy with my choice because I'm not, I don't wanna mess this again, holy crap this is tough I'm gonna chip some paint too <laughs> look at his face there he looks pretty funny <laughs> all right so we're gonna put in the grimacing face and i like that i like that a lot better let's see is this supposed to be yeah teeth on top yeah i couldn't tell if it was supposed to if it was upside down but it is only it's a half circle so it only goes in one way yeah i like that a lot better that looks really good so let's change his hand to have the rockalyzer rockinator rockalyzer i was right all right so the hand came off really easily very nice and doesn't feel like it's in but i think it is all right oh the hands are nice and moldable so it doesn't feel like i'm gonna break it when i'm putting the gun in that looks really nice that looks really nice uh, banana stem is very small. I kind of wish it was a little chubbier and firmer. There's not really a need for that. Um, I don't really need this hand, so I'm not going to put it on. Uh, I like the kind of clawing hand going on. Um, so here we go. Let's put Eyeball Joe in. God, I really wish I had Eyeball Joe in the Playmates version. I just don't. And I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry. 
Um, so let's do, do I have any NECA turtles back here? No, I don't. Okay, I'll be back again. So to get a good size comparison of the two figures, uh, he's quite tall. I've got them both crouching about the same. If I stand them up, let's stand them up. He's still considerably taller than he is crouching. So let's stand him up. up. Yeah, he's he's really tall. I wonder how big he is compared to uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. So I have to. Do, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's the sound of all the foot soldiers and stuff falling over. Oh, someday, someday, someday. All right. So he is roughly the same size as Bebop. Uh, he's considerably bulkier though. He's got he's got a little wider belly, but he has a lot. He's a he's considerably bulkier. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm digging this, digging this a lot. So there is Mutagen Man. Oh, actually, Rocksteady might be a little taller. I add this helmet on that I made. No, he's smaller. It's just the helmet I added on makes him a little taller. Um, awesome. So there's Muck Man. Uh, gonna oh. <laughs> didn't work the way I wanted it to. Ah, man. It's, it's too slippery to really get a good grip on, but it's too, ah, I don't know. That's really just, I'm assuming that it's like safe for the paint and all that stuff, because it's, that's just how it is, I imagine, but Hey, look at that. That's great. That is great. And I love that it came with slime. Um, oh, before I go, how silly of me. How, how silly of me. Let me clean up my workspace here. Uh, here is the Playmates line of Muckman. And as I said, the Playmates version, uh, I don't have the, um, I don't have I bought you. Here's the original Mutagen Man, Muck Man, sorry, Muck Man. He's got his garbage can, just twist right in to his back. Um, feels a little nicer to be put on than, than this one does. I kind of wish they would have followed suit with that. Um, the coolest thing about this is that it has a hole in it, and when you take the head off of this, I believe it comes through the belly. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, so let's just feed it in through here and it should be coming out the belly. Let's just see. Hmm. I gotta work it a little bit. Oh, now I'm just working it too much. We're gonna let that sit for a minute. Hopefully you'll see it oozing through here in a little bit. If I put the lid back on, no, that's not the right thing. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. While I'm doing that, uh, I mentioned that I got into the customization game, kind of painting, but um, I ended up, I'm still gonna work a little bit more on the face of this, but I ended up um, doing a custom paint job of the 2012 line of Muckman. There was just not, there was just too much detail that was just straight up green and was not painted. And I just didn't think it was done justice. So um, my wife got me some beautiful, my wife Lindsay, you know Lindsay, got me some beautiful paint markers. And I've been um, experimenting with these paint markers. So uh, I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to expand my horizons and do all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, here are the three models of Muckman um, that I own. Uh, there is a Super 7 Muckman coming out very shortly. He's right here. And uh, I'm very pumped for that. He's going to be huge. He's going to be probably bigger than that. Um, but he's going to look like this, but just a little cooler. Um... Man, I don't know. I, I swear this used to come through. I, I, that was the whole point, I thought. Uh, I see a hole in there, so I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. I'm going to let that go while I'm doing the next video because I'm, I'm doing a lot of videos today. So, um, but thank you so much for watching me play with toys. What a dream. What a dream to have people watching me play with toys. That's crazy that uh, I'm not getting paid for this. That's just crazy. Um, just teasing. I love doing this. And if you love watching, then I'm happy. That's all that matters. Um, but thank you. Like and subscribe, please. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Um, tell me your favorite version of... I feel like you can't really count this one because uh, of the paint job that I did on it. Um, just looks infinitely better. Um, I'll show what it looked like beforehand too. But um, yeah, which one's your favorite? Um, I while this one is definitely like my my new flavor of the week, um, and I really appreciate it. I can't help but um, just feel that like the the constraints of animating. A character that is as detailed as Muckman um, hand drawing the character there was no way they were gonna be able to have as much detail as on this and that so um, I completely get why they minimalized it um, and then NECA is just a, a complete representation of the cartoon so um, so I, I love this while I love the Playmates version and I love and I think this one's my favorite sculpt uh, in terms of creativity this is definitely really cool um, so I'm I'm very very much in love with it I'm glad I have it and now I have a little mini Muckman collection so all right well thank you so much bye it comes out of his mouth oh god I knew that that's so awesome I love it I love it I love it If the Super 7 does not have the head that you put slime through, I quit. I revolt. I send it back.